I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question from my student Avni. The question here is, at noon, ship A is 70 km west of ship B. Ship A is sailing south at 25 km per hour and ship B is sailing north at 35 km per hour. How fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m. So let's sketch and then figure it out. So let's say uh, this is giving north and south direction. What we have here is we have ship A which is 70 kilometer west of ship B. So let me take this as A for us and let's say this is B for us, right? So this distance between A and B is, is 70 kilometers. So we'll say this is A for us, this is B. That direction for us is north. And this distance here, right in the center, is 70 units or kilometers. Okay, ship A, is sailing south at 25 kilometers per hour and ship B is sailing north at 35 kilometers per hour. So with time distance will be how much? That is important to understand. So when we are relating velocity over time, distance is velocity into time, right? So remember this diagram. In fact, a triangle which represents distance, speed and time, right? So what we have here is that the distance is speed into time. So when we say that ship A is sailing south at 25 kilometers per hour, that means A is moving like this, right? So let us say at time t, it is somewhere here. So what is going to be the distance? It will be 25 times t, right? So this distance will be 25 times t. On the other hand, Ship B is sailing north at 35 kilometers per hour. So that will go kind of like this. In this time, we'll reach a point which will be 35 times time t, right? So that is going to be the position of ship B after time t, right? And distance between the two will be this much. So that's the distance between the two. As time moves, the ships will move further away and that distance is going to increase. We need to find rate of change of this distance when it is 4 p.m., right? So since they started at noon, so we have to find the rate of change of this distance when the time is 4 p.m. That means change in time t is 4 hours. Is that okay? And we need to find change in distance, right? So let us say that this distance is x. In that case, we need to find rate of change of distance at t equals to 4. That is the equation for us. Okay. Now, what is x after all at any instance of time? How do we find that? x is equal to 2. Now, distance between these two boats, uh, which we can find by constructing kind of a right triangle here. See, if I extend this here and this horizontally, we do get a right triangle where the distance between these two points is 70, right? And the distance between these two points is 35t plus 25t. Do you see that? Addition of these two distances, right? Since B has moved upwards and A has moved downwards, so the vertical distance between the two is 35 plus 25 t 
So using this triangle, we can find x in relation with time t. 70 remains constant, right? So we'll use Pythagorean theorem to write x as equal to square root of 70 square plus 35 plus 25t, right? Rather, 35t plus 25t whole square. That becomes x. We need to find dx dt, right? Let me combine these two terms and write it as 70 square, which is just a constant, plus adding these two will give us 60t whole square, right? Let's do Let's write like this. Okay. Now, what is dx dt equals to? Now, dx dt, I mean, dx dt is the derivative of this with respect to time t. Uh, so, square root function will be half, all this to the power of 1, I mean, half minus 1, that gives us minus 1. So, that comes in the denominator as square root of 70 square plus 60t whole square and the numerator derivative of this. Now derivative of 70 square is 0. Derivative of this function is 2 times 60, I mean 60t times derivative of 60t which is 60, right? So that is how you get the derivative of this function. Now we need to find this rate of change at t equals to 4. So basically we need to find dx dt when t equals to 4, right? Because at 4 p.m., since the ship started at noon, it will be, the time will be 4 hours, right? So you can substitute that here. Before that, let me simplify this by cancelling the 2. So what we get here is 60 times 60 is 3600 t divided by square root of 70 square plus 60t whole square, right? Now in this equation, I'll substitute 4 and then calculate the answer. So if I substitute 4 for t, I get 3600 times 4 in the numerator and the denominator will be 70 square plus 60 times 4 whole square square root. Let's use the calculator to calculate this value. So that is 3600 times 4 equals to, okay, divided by square root of, of 70 square plus 60 times 4 is 240. So we'll write 240 whole square. So that should give us the answer, right? So equals to, so that is equals to 288 over 5. So that is the exact answer, which in decimals could be written as 57.6, uh, which is 57.6. The units will be, since the distances are in kilometers, dx, and dt change in time is in hour, it will be kilometers per hour. Is it okay? So that becomes the, the answer for the given question, right? So you could write the answer as a fraction like this, or in decimal numbers as we have here. So we can say that it says how fast the distance between the ships is changing. So the answer will be it is increasing since it is positive, right? So, so we can write distance is increasing at the rate of 57.6 kilometers per hour at 4 p.m., right? So that is how we could answer this question. I hope the concept is clear and it, I hope it helps many of the sub subscribers also. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.